Hi Cancer and Cancer Rising. I wish everybody that's tuning in a very happy New Year's and um, I'm excited to see what your January 2016 reading has in store for you. Um, just like in the last month, I'm going to continue with um, what I call automatic writing, uh, which is basically a channeled bit of information that comes through in addition to sort of my regular card divination that I do. Um, so I came up with a word where I'm like, I don't you know from tuning into me that I try to really stay on the uh, empowered side of the coin. So I acknowledge challenges, I acknowledge what might be perceived as a, a you know, darker emotion or whatever, but I always try to give you the tools to work around that because otherwise it just is something that you're like, what am I going to do with this? So I, I really tried to clear my head and think, is there anything else that's coming through for cancer this month? But um, one word popped into my head as I was shuffling the deck, and it was regret. And I thought, no, give me something else, um, angels and guides. But all I got was regret. So first thing I wrote over top of it was like, forget it, forget about regretting things. But what I really realized it is, is it's you guys need to acknowledge whatever is triggering you this month. It could be a decision based on money, a love decision, um, something that you've let fester for years, or something that just popped into your head, and you're, you think to yourself, wow, I. I haven't thought about that person in a long time. I wish I had done something differently. Um, if that's the case, then this is a month of uh, renewal. It's also a retrograde period. It's a great time to go back and revisit that. So even if you can't have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone, you can practice release on your own. And um, we'll see, I have a lot of videos to do this month, but maybe mid-January I'll do something on release, um, a meditation on release, because I feel like that is something that a lot of us need to work on, releasing feelings, releasing blame, blame on ourselves, being kinder to ourselves. So um, I want you to acknowledge it. Instead of forgetting it, start to release it and think why you were triggered. Okay. Um, let's take a quick look at your catalyst card for the month. And this is really like that key that you put in the ignition that's going to start everything up. It also connects all of your other sectors, health, wealth, love and destiny. So for your catalyst, I'm going to pull from the center of the deck. Um, <laughs> okay, I. this is why I love a combination of divination and um, channeled messages. So I was telling you all about release. <laughs> and here it came through, which is great. And um, working with a, a new sort of oracle deck here, and I love this illustration. I'll pull it closer to the camera. But this is about opening up your heart, forgiving, realizing actually energy is energy. So why not uh, neutralize and elevate the energy that you feel? So if you're, someone else is making you feel regretful, remorseful, um, guilty, whatever it is, take a deep breath, release that energy, transform it into something higher and find understanding and knowledge from it. So um, this figure here is really letting go of the pain and allowing um, enlightenment to replace it. Okay, so yay for the universe a kind of giving us a double nod there that um, it looks like cancer does need to you guys feel deeper than a lot of signs your emotion runs a lot deeper so that's why I knew forgetting something wouldn't work that would be the equivalent of like having an injury and letting like letting it fester you have to sort of clean it clear it and take care of it okay now let's go straight into your reading and we'll focus on those themes of releasing and not reg uh, regretting I think it's all about release for you. Yes. Immediately with Six of Swords, as you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a card about travel, but it's also a card about moving on, letting go. Sometimes there's a figure of a ghost in the card. Um, so in this one, it is moving past those um, perceived mistakes or issues in your life where you just feel like, oh, I want, I want to do that over. I want to do over. <clears throat> Let me pull out everything and then we'll uh, go step by step into what's manifesting for you this month. Okay, let me take a drink of water and we'll get straight into this. So the central card, um, Six of Swords, I already <clears throat> covered that briefly, which is it's a continuation on the theme of release. But uh, what I need you to do this month is you're the one that will be the agent of change, the agent of release, the agent of moving forward. Uh, Paige, 
delivers a message, works, and basically presents it. Whether or not someone is open to receiving that um, forgiveness or that apology, it doesn't really matter. It's the act in and of itself that's going to free you. Um, I do see that the months leading up to January have been all about a major life shift for you. The world is really the end here of where you've where you've been over the past year, not just like numerically or this is this is more of a big symbolic shift. So for many of you, you might be thinking of moving, thinking of starting something from scratch, thinking of completely reinventing parts of yourself, but you're going to need to wrap up loose ends. So this month, I want you to think about that and realize that movement into a major new sector, especially a new job, new relationship, it could take four complete seasons, as illustrated lovely here in this uh, world card. Um, so I would love you to think of it that way, which is you're going to start a journey now that's going to move you across the next 12 months. So it's the beginning now, not just the seed, but the execution. You're actually going to take your first step in January towards whatever it is that you hope or dream or whatever, um, and then allow it to unfurl, unfold, grow, nurture it for the next one year. So even though this isn't your 2016 reading, that's a little hint of what uh, one element of what you might want to be focusing on. And when I do the readings for you, for your sign, we'll see what else comes through. But that's one thing. Um, the other thing is a need to ease up a little bit on um, some of the busy work, some of the distractions that are uh, taking your time right now. Because the quick message that I'm getting here is like, don't give away your energy. Um, so try to find a way to conserve, reserve, um, and let, uh, this is choosing your battles too. Uh, it's kind of harder to see in this illustration. Um, usually it's five individuals with five wands. The fact that it, the, the dragons are here is showing me energy, power, fire, um, and fire is all about being able to manifest. And so with you basically like burning out all your engines, what I want you to do is not to do that. Um, if people are trying to <clears throat> sort of get the better of you at work, if friends and family are picking at you, um, you need to just take a deep breath and think, I, I don't have to always prove that I'm right. Um, it's enough to know and I'm going to move on because this is my year to do something profound, something important. <clears throat> and I don't want to let these people bring me to a place of um, sort of like depletion. So the next card while I take a drink here is the chariot, which is about control. The reason I want you <clears throat> to focus on conservation is it's going to become increasingly important to your ability to maneuver through other challenging situations and also just use that energy to get you even further. This is your crowning card. So, uh, you know, there's typically two horses, two sphinxes, whatever. There's always two, two things pulling at you. You want them to be in the same direction. And a lot of the people in your life that might be trying to divert your attention or sort of like push you off course are going to do that by uh, basically having you divide uh, or relinquish control over one aspect of your life. So just don't do it. Um, first three months, I want you to pay special attention to money and career. Um, there could be a few challenges here, maybe a minor setback, maybe some disappointment that you, you're not getting um, far enough along a goal. Um, Page of Pentacles is very much about uh, communication or receive, receiving something, re uh, receipt of something. So what I'm seeing here is you might not be getting what you want initially, but it's too soon. At, at this point, I would say uh, wait until March, April, May. This is a much better time for um, business propositions or trying to um, push yourself out there. You want to be planting the seeds now, but you can't be expecting to harvest um, rewards from something right now. So don't be hasty is what I'm getting for January, also leading all the way into March. I think the first three months of the year for you I need to uh, really be about laying down seeds, opportunity, and putting in the work, but not expecting an immediate return on any sort of investment of time, money, or resources. Um, what I see about mid-month for you is uh, this, this is when I think the, the feelings of regret could come in. 
And this is the, the time when I really want you to be focusing on release. You'll notice there is a 13 at the top of this. So mid-month, possibly around the 13th for you, around the middle of the retrograde cycle, you might be feeling a lot of uh, pent-up emotion, sadness, regret. Uh, what you need to do is push through it. The environment around you is showing uh, that, one, I don't want you to be on the defensive, but I do need you to sort of push through any sort of perceived funk that you're in. And um, you've got a lot going on, a lot of people depending on you. And, and it seems like more often than not, you can't always trust others to sort of do the job you want to do. So go ahead and, and manage what you can. But I do want you to be cognizant again of your money. That is one thing that you can control. If you can't control the input, you can control the output. So if you can't control what's coming in, I want you to really look at how much you're spending and cut something out. Um, I see it improving, but I see the attitude towards money being a major theme, money, resources, and safety being sort of a major theme for you this month. With the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you are going to move from a place where, okay, you don't have quite enough to still not having what you want or need, but getting into a better space. So I want you to look at gradual improvement again. And we talked about the world. For some of you, this might be resetting your like financial security, your job situation. It takes time to do this. You can't sort of like do it in four weeks. If you can, kudos to you. But it takes longer for you to actually create a habit that's main, uh, sustainable, maintainable. Um, so I want you to really focus on the bigger picture, the longer road to success and recovery. And knowing that with this hard work that you've done, I do think that things will shift for you, but not immediately. So acknowledge the frustration, perhaps with money, finances, work. Um, also security it might be a home situation, not feeling like you have everything you want or you need. Um, but what's more important now is to stay afloat and to have enough to get by and then to be a little bit more appreciative of what you have. And with this card, not to be afraid of asking for help. Let me just pull a clarifying card for that um, and see if indeed that's what it is. So Knight of Swords reverse showing me communication challenges, also challenges and may, may be falling short of expectations. You might work hard. This is not a month to sort of like, um, I don't think you guys really are lazy, but I would say it's, it, you want, if, you, if there's a good month to overachieve, January is a month to overachieve. I, I said you'd have like a lot of things to manage and you will. So <clears throat> you want to show you've got the, you've got the goods to be whoever somebody wants you to be. So if it is like proving that you're worth a promotion at work or that you're worthy of a new relationship or whatever, you just want to do your part and you want to really weigh out your communication and you want to be open to other people's thoughts, needs, and communication as well. Don't close off your heart. Don't close off opportunities just because they're slightly different. This is a time for you to ask for help if you need it, um, to demonstrate reliability, and uh, to release any patterns that start to pull, pull at you and, and don't allow you to be all that you can be, okay? Now let's look at your extended forecast, starting with um, health. This card wants to come. Okay, so uh, health. Part of what is uh, going to be really key for you, and I would say look at this towards the second week of the month, is um, with the Dreamwalker. I, there's a little bit of a... I, okay, so what I'm getting from this card is... Um, where we were talking about release and being active this month. I don't want you to sleep sleepwalk through the month. You're going to need to uh, increase physical activity to get out of the... Uh, it, it is sort of an emotional funk here because what I'm seeing here is the... I'm going to focus on the illusion part of this. And um, what you need to do... Sometimes, I, I'm sure we've all had a morning where you try to get up and you just think, oh my God, I can't get out of bed or... I can't face another day with uh, the stress at work or my family's driving me insane. Work past that and realize that uh, some of it is 
illusions and power that you give to something that is going to be affecting you on an emotional level, which then is subsequently going to affect you on a physical level. So if you shift it, transform it, release it, and think, um, I'm no longer going to be victim to uh, manipulation at work, or I'm no longer going to um, engage in arguments at home, or whatever it is that could be pushing your buttons, it's going to allow you to take your power back and um, also your energy because I actually wanted to yawn while I was looking at this card so um, since I have sort of a sympathetic emp empathy um, what I'm getting is a lot of you are tired and that's why the dream card came through so pay attention to are you sleeping enough are you sleeping too much to avoid things I want it to be the perfect match between whatever six and eight hours whatever works for your body but again, I, I usually don't want to yawn, but I'm, I'm fighting back right now a, a major yawn. So I would say for you, right around the eighth of the month, it's going to be really tricky for you to have enough energy to get through. Try not to go to stimulants or to um, and try not to work yourself ragged so you get sick. I want you to really focus on your sleep as well. OK, now let's take a look at what's affecting wealth and abundance for you this month. I'm going to shuffle over here. We'll take this card. Okay, a couple, I think another sign this card came through. So um, accountability. This will be particularly with your, um, okay, if you're put into a, a, a group at school or at work and things don't go the way you want, uh, take, it's not like you're going to take the fall. Just take control and take accountability. So for whatever you need to deliver, deliver. And if other people aren't, hold them accountable, but don't blame them. Just say, I'll expect to see this next next Thursday. And if they fall short, all you can do is record it and move on, but don't sit there and blame them. And it's better to just find solutions and ways to get around it or say, you seem to be having trouble with this. Can I help you? Can I clarify it? Do you need someone else to, to step in? Would you like to work on something different? There's a lot of ways that you can be um, Constructive is the word that I'm, I'm, I'm getting instead of um, accusatory or, or, or as adding any blame or stress to the situation. And then the other thing is be kind to yourself. So for those of you that want to, uh, maybe you're saving up for college or maybe you're trying to save for home improvement or maybe it's just you don't feel like you are, you're not happy with your body or something like that. Don't blame, just think what can you, what, what can you do to start moving in the right direction? Because power comes when you start to accept and then control and then adjust habits. Um, blame and guilt and regret are lower vibrations and they keep you from moving forward. And I don't want you to be stuck. I want to unstick cancer for uh, January 2016 and all of the year. I want you to be able to go after everything you want. Um, Let's see what's gonna be affecting matters of the heart, particularly love and relationships. Okay, so um, it, this is a month for you to really get out of your head. <laughs> um, the more active you are in general, the better it's going to help you. You might also find that um, something like dance, uh, aerobics, yoga, um, even just uh, being outside, like shoveling snow, gardening, depending on where you're, you're located. I want you to do some sort of a physical activity that's making you feel constructive or better yet, artistically expressive. Um, so if, if this is, uh, again, I, I think it's great for anybody that likes to just go out and dance occasionally. This could be a great way to open your heart and also connect with somebody perhaps. Um, and you don't always need to, if you're in a relationship, then what it means is do something together, um, not just a, not just like uh, I'm not just talking about a romantic interlude. I'm talking about go out and have a picnic, see a movie. I want you to move away from your current space. If you're with somebody, do something together that you both appreciate. If you're alone, do something that brings joy to you. If you're looking for partnership, do something that you like that, again, is going to make you seem more um, attractive. So again, I think dancing is a great example of this, but anything that's involving motor skills will be good. This is how you're going to be able to literally move yourself into a different place uh, 
in regards to love. But what I want you to focus on is the heart chakra, lungs especially. This also leads into your health a little bit. So I would say um, cardiopulmonary system, focus on that, get this up and pumping and flowing and that's going to get the energy in a better space. It's also gonna help your health for this month particularly the fatigue that I was feeling. I'm still trying not to yawn when I look at the, the dream card. Um, now, finally, let's look at your destiny, where you're headed, um, what the result of paying attention to that catalyst card of release could bring to you. Okay, so... Um, I talk a lot about the power of thought, the power of uh, words, the power of intention. Um, in no other month is this going to be more impactful than it will in this month for you. Um, what you think, what you wish, what you hope, what you believe um, is going to become very powerful and can be manifested. Um, so I want you to start off now, the minute you start to get the look at this video, because you're probably going to watch it around New Year's, before New Year's, or a week after. Uh, whenever you see it, um, start thinking about what you really are hoping for and wishing for and dreaming for in your life, and what it is that you can do to start allowing that to happen. And let this be your wildest dream. Um, so even though a lot of us have a practical 9 to 5 job, or 9 to 6, or 8 to 8, whatever your work day is, um, I want you to work in a little bit of magic, a little bit of something that's beautiful to you. This could be time to meditate. It could be time to um, crochet. I don't know, I'm pulling at things. It could be t a time to start to uh, do little bits of work. You know, I, I write when I don't do this. So uh, a book doesn't write itself overnight. You do a little bit at a time. Um, it can, and it takes years sometimes. Maybe you work with your hands. It could be a sculpting activity. Um, it could also just be a relationship and it takes time to build that. So start to work on a passion project and uh, this is going to manifest by the end of the year for you. This is directly related to this. So this is your big deal for the year. I want you to start on it immediately. And I don't care where you are, what elements of your life that you're not happy with right now. This is going to be the big thing for you. So um, if you're unhappy, find something that will bring joy and I want you to work towards it as a 12 month project. If you are happy, I want you to think of something else that can expand, share, spread that happiness. So for some of us that might be service, donations, etc. or the next big thing. And I want you to start to sort of like put a, put a stake in the ground and begin working on it, begin the uh, manifestation. So overall, uh, very good month once you work through the release and some of the energy issues that I saw earlier. I'm going to try to sum it up and then just a reminder that the 2016 year at a glance will be a separate video this month. Everything's a little bit longer because it was a wrap up and I'm also hinting at the year ahead. So thanks for the patience. Your, um, re your channeled message is to acknowledge regret, but your catalyst, your desired action is to release it. It was interesting because I brought that up when I was looking at the channeled information. Your health card is to pay special attention to your sleep, um, sleep and wake schedules, to let go of any sort of illusions that are coming through of <clears throat> powerlessness, lack of energy, lack of um, lack of an ability to move forward and, and get what you want done. Um, this is very much... It's all within your power, and I do believe that you can make anything happen that you would like to. Um, as far as your uh, wealth, it's about account accountability, releasing blame, not pointing fingers, and, and really helping other people find their best skills and move past their own challenges. Um, for your love, I want you to focus on doing things you like to do. I say this a lot, but this month more than ever for you guys particularly dance, particularly anything, any physical activity. Um, it'll be a great way to possibly bump into somebody or just open that heart chakra and allow all of the energy to spread through your body in a positive way. Finally, but most important, I want you to work on that big thing that's going to shift, that's going to make 2016 um, a year unlike any others for cancer. So I'm excited to hear about 
how this manifests over the next year. It'd be interesting to see what the 2016 um, at a glance sort of year at a glance reading yields for you guys. But um, what I'm getting right now is that January is about the beginning of a big journey. So don't delay and don't let this opportunity pass you up. Um, and you want to make a decision by the end of the month. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Very cool reading for you guys this month and a lot that will happen. I feel like this will be a very um, cathartic and um, transformative energy, energy month for you for, for this sign. Um, anyway, thanks so much for all of the support, the likes, the comments, and just, again, um, the opportunities that I've had to work with some of you on uh, a one-on-one basis. Really, really appreciate it. Um, it's been a very fun journey. Uh, if, if you'd ever need more personalized information, uh, one -on one-on-one -on -one reading, I do offer those. Um, I currently have a couple weeks waiting time, but um, you can look at my website and I'll post the link on how to do that. And the easiest way to know when I post a new video is to subscribe to my channel, my newsletter, or to like my Facebook page. And I'll put all those links here for you. Um, and I will try to also put the 2016 link in the um, description below. So thank you so much. Um, much, much gratitude. I really do appreciate you guys. You don't know how much, um, but thank you so much. Have a great year and um, please keep in touch.